Monsieur wrote, this organ did not begin as a cavaille coal. It began uh, much earlier. Uh, the firm of Clico built an organ here. Tell us about that wonderful instrument. Yes, the, the church, this uh, very big church of Saint Sulpice, was uh, built during one century from the middle of the 17th century to the middle of the 18th century. And then shortly after, the tribune was built and architect Chalgrin has drawn the picture for the great case. And the most famous organ builder of the time, François-Henri Clicquot, has built the first uh, instrument in this uh, monumental case. An instrument with around 60 stops, five manuals, uh, and with uh, the 32 foot motor on the grand dog, on the, the manual mm -hmm. grand dog, and these pipes are still, we can see them, they are in front mm -hmm. of the case, uh, we have there the motor 32 foot. And there were keys under uh, the low C, uh, which we call ravalement, uh, the manual uh, did start on the low A and the pedal board did start on the low F. Mm. And uh, I think uh, at that time uh, the Clico organ was one of the three biggest instruments in France with the uh, Cathedral Notre Dame with Saint Martin in Tours. So we know that some of the pipes of the Clico organ are still present in the present day organ. Would you demonstrate some of those sounds that would have been heard by church goers? Yes, um, this is one of the really wonderful things of this instrument. Uh, Cavalier Col, when he did start his work in 1857, he did find here a great amount of uh, sound material uh, pipes by Clico, and he used all of them. Um, they are almost half of the pipe work uh, of the present instrument is by Clico. Oh. Almost half of the pipe work. And the whole plan jeu is uh, by, by Clico. You know, the mixtures have not been changed. Uh, they have been kept by uh, Caballero uh, with their disposition.